Hello and welcome to Type 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about what is integration runtime in Azure Data Factory and Synapse Pipelines. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. If you have watched my previous video, we discussed about how to orchestrate and transform the data at scale and these are the stages which we have in Azure Data Factory and Synapse Pipeline. So here, when we need to connect with the data, we need the link services to the data sources. This will connect to the data sources and with the help of activities, we can do everything, what are the process and transformation which we need. And all these kind of, for an example, we have a SQL Server database and you want to copy this data into our blob storage and from there we can transform the data and then store it into Azure Synapse Pipeline, Azure Synapse Analytics. So these are the things which happens, right? So all these things, we need a compute infrastructure. So everything is handled by this integration runtime itself. So there are certain types of integration runtime which we have in Azure Data Factory and Synapse Pipelines. So those are So there are three kinds of integration runtime available in Azure Data Factory and Synapse Pipeline is Azure in that we have a two network public network support and private link support. So we can use of data flow, we can do this data movement and we can also do this activity despair. So what does it all three means we'll discuss in our next slide. And other thing which we have here is a self-hosted and also Azure SSIS package. So in self-hosted, we don't have a data flow, but we just have a data movement and activity dispatch. But in Azure, we don't have a private link support. It's only in the public network support, uh, whereas SSIS package is available on both of them. So this is about this. So when we move on to the next slide, we'll discuss about these three things in detail. So basically the integration runtime as we discussed is a compute infrastructure used by Azure Data Factory and Azure Synapse Pipelines to, to provide the following data integration capabilities across different network environments. So we can make use of data flow. So you can execute a data flow in a managed Azure compute environment. So the data flow which we usually use in Power BI has a similar functionality but with a different user interface which you can do. So we'll cover about the detail the data flow in our future videos so it's just an example about you can make use of a data flow we can connect to the data sources and you can make the graphical way of transformations of our data and then we can execute those things so the next is about data movement so we can copy data across data stores in a public or private network for both on-prem or virtual private networks the services provide support for built-in connectors format conversion column mapping and pro format and scalable data transfer. So this is about the data movement and activity dispatch means dispatch and monitor transformations activities running on a variety of compute services such as Azure Data Bricks, Azure HD Insight, Machine Learning Studio and Azure SQL Database, Azure SQL Server and more, many more. So the last one is SSIS package execution. So natively execute your, SSI, your SSIS packages in a managed Azure compute environments. So the next slide is interesting one actually. So I want to show you that. So this is a map which we have it here. So this usually describe about all these three integration runtime types. So if you look at in the first one integration runtime Azure, we have a data movement and compute activity dispatch. So the data movement, if the source and destination, both of them are in cloud. If you look at this cloud symbol here, which is the cloud, if both of them are in cloud and then we can dispatch the activity within this environment, everything happens on the Azure itself, like we can connect to the different, different data sources. And this things is called Azure integration runtime. And the next one is within the virtual network of Azure. So we can make use of integration runtime self-hosted, whereas the data movement, which is source and destination, both of them are in cloud. 
uh, but the only difference here is it is available inside Azure Virtual Network. And the next thing is about integration runtime of Azure SSIS package. So we can execute existing SSIS packages, source and destination, both of them can be on the cloud. So the same thing if the SSIS package which you can run inside Azure Virtual Network, but here the thing is the source is in the cloud and the destination is on on-prem server. So if you see this line here, which is basically here yeah, the destination is on-prem server. And the last thing is about the self-hosted one. So the integration runtime self-hosted where the data moment, the source is on the cloud and destination is on on-prem SQL server. So these things also is possible without Azure Virtual Network uh, directly here in the on-prem itself. So as of now, the Synapse pipeline currently only support Azure and self-hosted one. The SSIS package execution is not being supported in Azure Synapse pipeline. It's only available in Azure Data Factory. So this is all about the integration runtime in Azure Data Factory and Synapse pipelines. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications.